Today, a dedicated episode to programming Lego Mindstorms EV3 robots using Chromebooks. Welcome to Robot Factory. Okay, so I will assume that you have already downloaded the app from the Chrome store for your Chromebook. We're going to start by going over here to the Chromebook launcher, and we are going to open up and find under programming where our Lego EV3 program is, and we're going to let that boot. With the app launched, we want to go ahead and make our language selection. And then we are going to select a new program that we're going to build. The new program that we're going to build is fairly straightforward. We're going to do a simple move tank program. So if you come down to the bottom row and highlight, you can see that we have our various controls, medium motor controls, large motor controls, steering controls. What we want to start with is move tank. And we're just going to drag move tank up here and drop it in place. We're going to go ahead and use the on for rotations option. And then we are going to set our left and right power. Click on the left power and then you're going to come over to the slider here. You're going to go ahead and enter 65 using the keypad. We want to be using 65 power. Worth remembering. Uh, let's actually click out of that. Worth remembering is that our power goes from positive 100 to negative 100. Negative numbers means that we are going in reverse. So you can either use the slider if you're comfortable with the slider, or you can use the keypad by clicking on the slider in the upper left-hand corner of the power setting. We're going to be on for one revolution, and we are going to be set to break at the end of our motion. Okay, now we're going to add a sound. I want you to drag a sound icon up and get it in place. Now, if you click on the file folder, the sounds that we have, we can play a file, we can play a tone, we can play a note, or we can record a custom sound. I want you to leave it in play file for right now, and then I want you to come over here, and you're going to click on the Mindstorms tab. On the Mindstorms tab, we have a whole bunch of different built-in files. We are going to go ahead and use the communication file. And within the communication file, fantastic. we we want to use the fantastic setting. We are going to be 100% volume. And we are going to say wait for completion, meaning that our next line of code will not execute until this sound has played. So then we are going to turn our tank around 180 degrees in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag another move tank option here. We're going to leave it on rotations. But now what I want you to do is I want you to set power left to negative. You can use this plus minus button, negative 35. And I want you to set the right power to positive. 35. Once again, one rotation and break at the end. So now, with that done, we're going to add one more sound. Now, as you can see, this is starting to get a little bit big. I can do is just zoom out and get myself a little bit more room to work with. So I'm going to drag one more sound file up. Same thing, I'm going to play from file. I want to click on Mindstorms here in the upper right corner of it. I'm going to continue to use the communication file. And now I want to use Bravo. Bravo. That's going to be it for the initial programming. Okay, now we need to do some setup on the brick itself. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. Okay, now using our keypad on the brick itself, we want to tab over to the right to the settings menu, which is the little wrench. And then we are going to tab down to Bluetooth. We're going to highlight that. And then what we want to do is we want to turn on Bluetooth. So under visibility, we want to make sure that the visibility box is checked. We want to make sure the Bluetooth box is checked. 
it will go through this cycle of turning it on. And once we're there and we've got green lights on the keypad down below, we just go down to our checkbox and highlight that. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and get the Chromebook itself ready for pairing. We're going to come down to the right hand side and we want to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. Assuming our Bluetooth is turned on, we want to go ahead and allow the Chromebook to scan for devices. It detects the EV3. We're going to select that. Our Bluetooth device is trying to connect. We are going to come over to the checkbox, allow that. We are going to go ahead and use the default password right now of 1234 and click yes. Over on the Chromebook screen itself, we are going to enter the 1234 password and we are going to click connect. You may get this error, that's fine. You're going to click OK and get out of that. You are then going to come down to the EV3 brick corner on the lower right hand corner. You're going to bring that up. You're going to click on available bricks. Go ahead and hit connect. Our EV3 brick is here. We select the EV3 brick and now it is all set to go. So now we are just going to, we have two options. We can download our program to the brick or we can download and play. What I want you to do initially is we're just going to go ahead and hit the download to brick option. You'll see the files are downloading. When that clears, everything's fine. So now let's say we want to play the program from the brick itself. We're going to tab over to the program files and we are going to see that our first program, program number one, is highlighted. We're going to go in there. The first option down is our play program button. So what we'll do is we're going to hit the play program and we're going to see whether or not the robot does what we have told it to do. Bravo. Now our other option, once we have connected to our brick, is to use the download and play button. So let's go ahead and try that, where we just click play on the computer and we see what happens. So as you can see, with just a very quick amount of work, we can go ahead, pair up our Chromebook to our Mindstorms robot and begin running some simple programming. Next video, we're gonna actually go over testing our programming skills and figuring out how to get our Mindstorms robot to begin following a set course how to get it to either manually or using sensors navigate. So that's up next in the Mindstorms EV3 series of videos. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for visiting. I hope you enjoyed this little brief tutorial on how to pair up and run your first program from your Chromebook on your EV3 Mindstorms Lego robot. Going forward, we're going to continue to have a Rex build probably every other week as we work through some of those big technical issues. And then also, we're going to continue to intersperse these other video options with Mindstorms robots, with basic electronics techniques, soldering like we had last week with building the power plug uh, an episode ago and how to, things like that. So as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for visiting. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, it's been really neat to see the enthusiasm, and, and I hope to continue coming up with new and exciting videos for you and your roboting interests. So, until next time, cheers.